Hello friends, welcome to Code Semantic and welcome to the video tutorial of ASP.NET Web API. So in this video, we are going to see the new concept that is routing. So let us understand it in detail. So first of all, we will see what is routing. In ASP.NET Web API, basically routing is responsible for mapping your incoming HTTP request to a particular controller's action method. Okay. And ASP.NET Web API supports two types of routing. First one is convention based routing and another one is attribute routing. Till now we have given lots of call to our ASP.NET Web API controller's action method. Okay. To call that particular action method, we are following one specific pattern, one specific URI pattern. Okay. And that URI pattern is mapped to our controller's action method. Okay, so let me show you it in a postman. So this is one of the URI, or you can say one of the endpoint of our web API. Here we are running our application on localhost. Otherwise, in place of localhost and this port number, there will be some domain name. Okay, and then here we are specifying the API word. This is one constant word because it is present in our URL pattern. Okay, that's why we specified it as it is. You can change this constant value as per your requirement. And then after we specify our controller name. Okay, we didn't specify the action name. We just specify the controller name. Here, based on your HTTP verb, whether it is get, post, put, delete, etc. Based on this HTTP verb, it will be decided to call which action method of your controller. Okay, so let us see this root in Visual Studio, how it is defined. So this is a root template, okay, or you can say this is your URI pattern also. So here we specify API word, okay, it is just a literal constant, you can specify it anything. Then two placeholders are there, one is controller and ID, which are enclosed in curly braces. It means it can take any value. So this is our root template and based on that, it will accept the value and then after our controller's action method will be mapped. Okay. Now you might wonder why we need routing, right? So basically whenever we are doing a coding or as a programmer point of view, if we think while defining the controller or as well as while defining the action method of our controller, we specify the method name or action name or as well as our controller name from programmer's perspective. Okay. But this URI are going to be used by some end user and it should be user friendly. It should be readable. It should be understandable. So for that purpose, we map that URI to specific URI pattern. So for that purpose, we specify one specific URI pattern and then after it will be mapped to our controller's action method. That is one reason. Okay. Or you can say that is one of the reason of routing. Now let us switch to our presentation again. I already told you that there are two types of routing that ASP.NET Web API support. One is convention based and another one is attribute routing. In upcoming video sessions, we are going to see this part in detail. So now we are going to see one more important term, which is routing table. It has very important role in a routing. Basically, whatever I said, right, to determine which action method to invoke or call or which controller's action method to invoke based on the incoming HTTP request that is determined by this routing table. Okay. So this routing table contains all the routes that are defined using either convention based routing or attribute routing. So whenever your application runs, right, routing table get created and all the routes get stored in this table. And whenever any HTTP request is made, at that time, this routing table will determine which action method to invoke. So routing table has very important role in routing. I want to mention one more thing here. 
If you are familiar with ASP.NET MVC routing, then ASP.NET Web API routing is very much similar. There is just one minor difference, I will say. In ASP.NET MVC routing, we specify the action also. But here in Web API, actions are determined with the help of HTTP verb. That is the only difference in ASP.NET Web API routing and MVC routing. So if you are familiar with it, then definitely it is going to be easy for you. And if you are not familiar with that, uh, I uh, definitely suggest I have already created a video series for ASP.NET MVC. So I'll, I'll suggest you or I'll recommend you to watch that videos for deep understanding. Okay. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any doubts or any question, please write it to the comment section. Thank you for watching.